Yo, what's up guys and welcome back to a brand new video here on my channel and in today's video I'm gonna answer a very important question. Should you overclock your RAM in Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 8 to gain more FPS? And guys, trust me, the answer is gonna be a little bit shocking for you. If you enjoy content like this, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. This would help mode so, so much. And without any further ado, let's get straight into this topic. And yeah guys, in today's video we're gonna answer a really important question since so many people ask me, should you overclock your RAM? And guys, trust me, the answer is gonna be shocking for you. And I'm not talking about a stereotypical XMP unclock where you pretty much just make sure that your RAM is running at max speed in your BIOS. I, by the way, have a full undertutorial about this. So I'm just gonna put it in the description and you can watch it after this video, guys. Trust me, listen to me carefully. Because I actually brought up a really important benchmark since so many people ask me, is my RAM speed maybe too low? Should I upgrade from something like 2000? 400 megahertz ram or 3000 megahertz ram and guys we're just gonna take a look at the following benchmark as you can see right now here they did a bunch of tests with different rams on like intel and amd and you can see especially on intel it doesn't really matter too much if you're running like normal 2400 megahertz ram up to even like something like 3600 megahertz ram which is really overkill even today guys and yeah you can see on intel it doesn't literally matter that much so therefore if you're running like even an older intel generation with only yeah i'm just gonna say like only 2400 megahertz of ram you're still totally chilling guys like the difference is gonna not really be noticeable in comparison with something like 3000 even up to 4000 megahertz ram but guys on the other hand amd can actually take really advantage of higher speed megahertz ram but keep in mind guys the sweet spot for amd is 3600 megahertz so even though if you're running something like 3200 megahertz or 3000 megahertz you're still chilling as long as it's not something like 2400 megahertz where you're like really in the back like you shouldn't be worrying at all guys trust me guys like most people anyways have nowadays like something like 8 to 16 gigs of ram with like 3000 megahertz cl16 you're totally chilling guys but a quick mention guys fortnite is working way better with 16 gigs of ram in comparison with 8 gigs of ram so therefore if you don't have 16 gigs of ram try to maybe find some cheap ram on ebay or your locals or whatsoever but really try to push it up to 16 gigs of ram you're going to benefit way more from having 16 gigs of ram than faster 8 gigs of ram so therefore guys please get that out of your mind so many people ask me if they should overclock their 3000 megahertz ram guys and as mentioned again please don't do that literally if you're on intel it doesn't matter at all if you're on amd and you're between like 3000 to 3600 megahertz you're totally chilling anything above 3600 megahertz is actually going to be counterproductive for amd and you're going to lose performance so therefore guys yeah if you're like in the sweet spot you should be totally chilling as mentioned and yeah guys this is it for today's video i'm gonna try to push out on a daily base like quick informative videos like those here let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below and if you enjoyed today's video Please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. This would help out so so much And if you still have any more questions feel free to ask me them down in the comment section below I try to answer as many as possible and with that said have a great day Have a great night whenever you're watching this and until next time stay awesome. I'm out. Peace Kill that shit, but this don't kill the